Aaron Turuyor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to comment, uh, comment on two statements. Number one is a statement by Senator Chute uh, on uh, Bunge Towers. Mr. Speaker, when I left the Commission, we had done everything that was needed for members to occupy that house. The only thing that was remaining was actually furniture. It's been now one and a half years after the present uh, PSC has come into office. I don't seem to um, see any serious movement on that particular building. It will be of interest to know uh, why members... Uh, you know the term of a member of parliament is very important, uh, Mr. Speaker. There are many members that had believed they'll get an office in that building when they came here in 2017. It unfortunately did not happen. In fact, many of them used to challenge me on the corridors of uh, parliament and say, allow me to occupy this building. It may be the only thing I'll be showing my children that one time I was a member in this house. Because now you can imagine, if you tell them KICC, KICC, everybody lives uh, there, uh, Mr. Speaker. And you know, unless you serve in leadership to have an office here in Parliament, the rest are extremely difficult. The Continental House is not an office that you want to show, where members sit together with the secretary, the bodyguard, everybody in one room. So it's really not conducive how uh, members are conducting their duties. So I want to urge the committee that will be charged with that responsibility to really take the current PSC to task and have firm timelines, Mr. Speaker. I've seen their budget, which has grown tremendously. But unfortunately, I think they need, we need to pass a resolution of the House banning all travel by members of PSE until the day they will allow members to uh, serve in that particular office. Then we can allow them to travel after that. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, I'd wish that my good friend Sifuna can take time to explain to his colleagues from the minority side the provisions of Article 249. The, over, the command of the police service is such that it is independent. So there is no government side and minority side on who can direct police on what to do. It's a basic constitutional doctrine, uh, Mr. Speaker. So I am um, troubled when I see my friend Eddie and Betsy Yengo try to say the majority side should do this or the other. Police brutality has been with us. This Senator Cherarge that you are ridiculing was the biggest victim last time and it used to be celebrated here. In fact, every other Friday afternoon, I used to tell him, instead of going to Dandi, just go straight to Kisumu Police Station where you'll end up finding yourself in. So this is something that we need to all confront with concerted effort without the little doses of politics that sometimes uh, make this effort water down. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Edwin Sifuna. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I personally believe that uh, all of us are born with the uh, ability to tell right from wrong. And uh, the speaker, uh, the statement from Senator Chiral Gay gives me an opportunity to say this, Mr. Speaker. I have absolute faith in every member of this House.